Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to compare the speed test comparison between the OnePlus Nord 2 versus Realme XM Max device after recent software update. Yes, when just yesterday only I did reset the software update in the OnePlus Nord 2, which is December security patch update. And in this speed test, I'm going to use the Batagons mobile game. Let's see which phone actually opens the Batagons mobile game faster by using the 4G data connection itself. Yes, only using 4G data. And both phones are using the same kind of Geo SIM card only, which you can actually clearly see here. And both are having carrier aggregation supported at this moment. Let's see how much difference we can actually expect between these both phones regarding the opening speeds of the Batagons mobile game. And this test I'll try to do in two different methods. So first, without using high performance mode. Second, with using high performance mode. In this way, we'll be able to find out exactly what's happening between these two devices, which is a Dimensity 1200 chipset. Right now, as you can see, uh, you can take a look at the loading speeds of these both phones, which phone is loading what kind of speed and first phone to show the logo i think both phones not bad so both are showing exactly pretty similar and one more quick note after this update there has been small uh, change in the performance in this device in the oneplus not 2 it's got a little bit kind of downgraded so first 26 seconds the phone did take and 29 seconds the realme x and max did take as you can see 26 and 29 seconds this first time opening and using the 4g data connection you might be wondering why it's very slow because 4G is different and Wi-Fi test is different. This test is completely done only using 4G connection. There is no Wi-Fi connection. Okay. And after this update in the OnePlus Nord 2, the performance little bit kind of downgraded. So there might be a couple of other uh, things as well because to maintain low temperatures, I guess, not to put much pressure on the CPU and the GPU, that might be the reason why uh, the OnePlus did it. If you want, you can try to observe this video. Try to check this video. You'll be able to understand before and after clock speeds. This video will give you the clear idea of what's going on. And right now you can see the loading speed second time. So second time 26, 22 seconds of time and the real mix and max still taking some time. 26 seconds of time. So 22 seconds and 26 seconds of time both phones did take. And now let's enable the high performance mode in the settings option. Advanced settings and performance mode is enabled. All the apps are completely cleared from the background. Now let's start opening the Batman's mobile game. So with the high performance mode, now we'll be able to see it exactly what's going on. As you can see, when using high performance mode, the OnePlus Nord 2 was able to like perform again pretty faster than the Realme X and Max. Without high performance mode, the phone did take 22 seconds of time. With high performance mode, it did took I think 20 seconds and 21 seconds. So still the same, the Realme X and Mac is taking a lot of time, 27 seconds. Let's start the test again. Let's see it second time. What happens with opening speeds? So right now we'll be able to find out exactly, as you can see the OnePlus Nord 2 again, pretty faster. Only the CPU clock speeds have been slightly kind of uh, decreased, I mean underclocked after this update. So 20 seconds of time the OnePlus Nord 2 is taking at this moment after the recent software update. Before it used to take pretty fast friends, I think within 17 seconds the phone used to load. But maybe because of 4G data connection, I guess. So that's it friends, thank you for watching, stay tuned for more updates and this is a quick comparison between these both phones. And meanwhile, signing off, until then stay tuned, bye.